create a document from a client side. In this tutorial, we will touch the following topics. Setting up the project, creating the document class that represent the document on the database, watch the behavior of the store function of the iDocument session and the save changes function, then repeat the procedure by creating documents from an array. We will create a console application, naming it RavenDB Demo. To add client reference, run the Nougat package manager, search for RavenDB client, install the package. After RavenDB client package is installed, we will create the document store object that is responsible for the connection with the server. Set the URL property to localhost 8080 and set the default database property to Raven Demo DB. Be aware that Raven Demo DB does not exist in this point. And at last, initialize the connection by using the initialize function. To work against the database, we will open a session that will be represented by an iDocument session object. We will declare the person class with first name, last name, age, and ID properties. Create the person object and give to the first name, last name, and age properties the values John Doe and 45. To see the store function behavior, we will create helper function called show person store that take two parameters. First one of the session object, second one of the person object. Then we will print the value of the person object and the ID property. If the ID contain value, we will print the value. If it does not have value, we will print null. After that, we pass person object to the store function. And then we will print again the value of the person object in the same manner. Add the save changes function that is responsible to save the changes to the database. Before running the program, let's have a look in the RavenDB Studio and see in the resource list that there is no database called RavenDemoDB, which is the name of the database the program intended to be used. Running the program will print the execution of the store function and save data to the database. The print out before the executed store function, you will see that the value of the ID property is null. In the print after the executed store function, you can see that the ID property received the value of pupil slash one. We can see that the ID is built out of two parts. The first part, people, is the plural of person class name. And the second part of the ID, number one, is given by the HILO algorithm. Till now, all action made on the client side. After save changes executed, data been saved to database. By flipping to the studio, you will see two things. The new database RavenDemoDB that was created 
and when you enter the database by clicking its name, you will see the new document that was created. Now we will create an array with a three-person object. By creating a for-each loop, we will go over the objects in the list, and each time it will print the value of the object before executing the store function and after, as we did the first time. Running the program again will store each of the objects in the array and will print the value of each object before store execute and after, and then save changes to database. When we go over the objects printed in the loop, we can see that the first part of the ID, that is the plural of the class name, stays as before, and the second part gets the values from 33 to 35 according the HILO algorithm. When we flip to the studio, we can see in the Raven demo DB all the new documents. That it's for now. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.